I'm the Murray. Wow. Anyway, I just been giving you that. Actually, that what's funny is um, this is actually post commentary. So um, yeah, I was actually said something originally something else then. But anyway, welcome back to a new episode of Slide Two: Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff. As in, like, we delivered a ruby. Um, we did just just a bunch of stuff. But anyway, then in this episode, we're going to do Operation Wet Tiger. And then start the next area in the game. And, but the weird thing is, half of this video is going to be uh, post-commentary. And half of this video is going to be live commentary. And the first half is post-commentary. Which sucked because, like, I had really good content. Like, I had really good laughable moments in the first half. Like, the, because the first half was my favorite part. At least you can still see the gameplay, but... I mean, let's actually just start the operation now. Let's head out for the turret, Murray. Alright, I'll set up shop here and provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for slot. Check. But man, just... I really hate that I did that, like... I had some great commentary, like, like, I started off really good, but, like, and then it kind of, like, got ruined, and I could have, like, we record, I could have decided to just we record the episode, like, say I'm doing just being goofy there with Murray, <laughs> like, but, like, man, imagine if I had my original commentary, ba basically, what happened, basically what happened is, uh, I I left my mic on, so also also I love this trick where you can just flow the guards infinitely like that. If you hit the, if you just smash the same button, it's pretty great. <laughs> like look at that, rah rah rah, just hitting up them up. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, it was pretty it's a pretty cool trick though. Nice work. This nice still guards lie, <laughs> but yeah, it was originally this originally was gonna like be full live commentary, but like. At least, at least half the video is gonna be live commentary, but it's just be weird because this is recorded like a good week or so later, <laughs> in post commentary wise. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's just man, I really hate that like. But basically, basically what we're doing is basically we stream these things because if they, if one of them hits Murray, I think it's game over. So basically, he get burned to pieces, I guess. I mean, it's interesting how they're doing. Basically, I guess they're fire bombs or something like that, or explosives. They're just paragliding, they're parachuting down. I mean, that'd be kind of scary. But like at the same time, you would think it would be pretty easy to avoid them if they're going that slow. It's like that, so. But, but we just had to shoot them out with, with this turret and stuff like that. But man, just... Also, this is the episode where we fight with John, which is pretty great. Like, fighting with John is is, is an awesome, pretty awesome battle and everything. It's also with, it's also with the Murray. Oh yeah, let's but just spam the same button over and over again to lift it, lift it up. Come on, Murray, you can do it. There you go. The Murray's might and muscle triumphs again. Like always. And also now I can play a slide and show you that one glitch thing that I did with Murray. I guess not really a glitch, but like if I just hit if I hit the same button over and over again, like I have it, like I have it with this guard, like. Watch, watch this. Hold on, wait, is it with the- No, it might not be- Oh, yeah, there it is! There it is. Yep, with that guard, like that. I'm trying to think, yeah, it was this guard, nice. <laughs> Just keep spamming that button. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Man, but imagine if- God, I still wish this was live commentary right now. It, I really wish it was. I mean, I'll tell you when we switch over to live commentary. Like, I tend to snap it. Snap it like, like I'm Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that yet. Cause I'm being a good guy right now. I'm not being a bad guy yet. I'm not being Thanos yet. Where I just snap. Oh, it's still po it's still post commentary. Ah <laughs> oh, man, but man, oh, the, the Avengers, the Avengers was it's such a good movie. Actually, uh, 
just watched that recently, so yeah, that's good. I mean, I don't know if I remember if I mentioned that I watched, been watching the MCU in my live commentary or not, but like, as in with the post commentary, I literally just right before I started the post commentary of this, I just watched the, the Avengers. I kind of hope I don't mention it in my in my in my live commentary where I was watching the MCU because that wasn't even I was not. I think I try to think how far. I think when I recorded, it, I was. Did I, did I watch Captain America? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure if I watched Captain America when I'm doing the live commentary of this, but but yeah, I recently just watched the Van, the first Avengers, the Avengers, and that's that's pretty great. And with Loki as a villain and stuff like that, that's pretty. It's pretty great. It's definitely my top five MCU films, just like that. But let's actually explode this Diamond Eye or TNT barrel in this to flood the palace or the forest, I guess. No. Not a pa it's not a palace, it's a forest temple. Palace was the second area. I like how those logs just, those logs just randomly appear right there. They can like jump on, too. Like they weren't there before, it's really weird. And there's Rajan with the other half the clockwork heart. Black clouds and thunderbolts, my spice temple, ruined! Poor, t poor Rajan. While you villains destroy my hard won empire. This place is mine. Here I am king. Come face me, Cooper. With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power. We don't have all of it. Nothing. Come face the might of Rajan, Lord of these hills. When we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Mila. Slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Ah, I, I will, I will. Oh, speaking of which, during the post commentary, I also just got vaccinated <laughs> for COVID. <laughs> like, but like, I, but when I did the live count, I, was, I wasn't vaccinated yet because I got vaccinated today, and this is like a week later. This is like a week later in the post commentary. So, but yeah, well, but welcome back, you guys. You can see it's flooded. I'm like, said so I got the COVID vaccine. Uh, it does require, I guess, a second dose, but I guess that, but I can I will go back in like a month or so. But yeah, so hopefully it's, life can go back to normal. Man, Im God, imagine, imagine seeing a movie, th movie in theaters. That that's 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 the new non like that's the new dream. What are you doing? Fly! I'm coming, buddy. Yeah, Murray to the rescue. This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and fear these long hours. Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? The Murray. All I see is a fat. Pathetic. Oh, how dare you? Be big and not as smart as the other guys. But one thing I'm not. As awake. Yeah. I think I said that the same in my like old versions of a uh, of Sly. Awake. I'm not. <laughs> But yeah, like Murray's the muscle guy. I love this boss fight. It's pretty great. Oh, one thing. You know, one thing is, uh, if you actually jump on top of him, body slam on him, and like that. Hold on, I'll show you in a minute. There, yep, right there. Basically, you had to jump on the lily pad because he does electric strike. Because if you if he does electric strike when uh when you when you're not on the lily pad, you get electrocuted. Also, if also if you do it with the, when the guards are there and everything, like if you do it when the guards are there, the guards also get like electrocuted. Watch. Oh, nope, no, that one didn't work. Man, mind. <laughs> I still got health though, so uh, I'm trying to do it so you know I can show you what the you know the guards get electrocuted because those are fun. Because all you had to do is stand a lily pad. I mean, they also can stand a lily pad too, but but man, look at that. I love how I love how like Lejon just knocking the guards out too for us to help us too. If they get if they cause they can get in the way too. But it's like kind of funny, funny. Oh, get the health. Yeah, that is health. One thing that's weird, I thought always if, it, if if John gets electrocuted, it does like it. If John gets electrocuted like like a fence, um, he would do the 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 electric pound with his staff. But I guess not. But I always love I always love this boss fight. It's 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 pretty it's pretty great. 
I'm trying to think. It might it might be like one of my favorites. Like it's it's actually a really good boss fight. Like I think you what would I guess my least favorite would my least favorite be uh John Bison. I think he might be just because like I mean it's an interesting fight and all, but it's not it's not it's not we're just not the John fight. Or Dimitri's fight. Dimitri's pretty good too, and also the Contessa is also pretty interesting as well. But I think this, I think this might be the best boss fight. And I guess the final boss fights also is weird because the slice series, at least in slide one and two, the boss fights have like the final boss fights are not that great. You know what? Even though I still love, you know I still love Clockwork and all that, but I mean, it looks like we're about to defeat Rajon with just a few punches and stuff like that. But yeah, just. He's getting a little low on health because you know that because after that it's the snap, as in going to back back to a uh, live commentary. But here it is. Now I'll clip my fingers once I defeat Rajon. Come on, can I do it? Can I do it? Let's see if I can do it. Oh no! Oh, yep, yep. There he goes. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! Here they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. Get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing cockney liar! Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect. And with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shift. Well, guys, I gotta say is I'm kind of an idiot. Because, like... I just had that entire session with the operation without having my mic on. Yeah, I thought. Well, I had my mic. My, I I don't know. I have. I guess my mic. I had it muted. I had my mic muted on OBS. I was like, I just noticed that while I was after I defeated Rajon, I was known to the cutscenes like, oh, I didn't have my mic on. I was like, why did I do? That? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it do the rest of this live commentary, the rest of this video live commentary. And then and do and then do the previous section with with the with John with what the wet operation wet tiger as post commentary. Sorry guys, that sucked because I thought it was a really good commentary too. Man, that, 
God, the best part of the game. The best part of the game, I had my mic off. But anyway, let's let's start the contestants area. Sorry about that. God. Uh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why? I'm turning back off now. student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived, as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. Man, poor Bentley. Bentley saves the gang in. Jailbreak. At least now we're doing live commentary. So I have the video is going to be post commentary, half buried with live commentary. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know how I did that. It's God. I'm so. Especially the best part. And like, I had the best reactions too. Let's see what loot we can buy though. I love if we can still buy Mur Murray's loot, even though we don't have Murray in this even area. But I would buy all this, get all this stuff though. <laughs> There you go. We're still able to buy everything. We still have eighteen, eighteen hundred fifteen six. But man, we got new. Oh, we got a new area, by the way. Over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. Bro, we got uh, we got new guards now. So uh, because we got a new location. But man, this ah, oh, got really disappointing. I don't care. I'm, I'm. Where is it? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, I think I know. I know. I was like. I'm really disappointed. I think we've gone try, try to break Sly out at least in this episode, but like, man, half the episode, half the episode, dang, man. Like, so we're, gonna, we're not collecting the clues yet. I'm gonna wait until we get unlocked Sly to collect the clues. But yeah, man, that's just a really disappointing. Anyway, this guy has tanks, by the way. <laughs> can we show the tank at all? <laughs> Hold on, can we? Oh jeez. Can we, can we, can, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is a C. <laughs> so now let's go here. I'm just seeing if I can destroy that tank guy. Oh, that guy's still over there, alright. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe not, we, we're low on, we're really low on health. I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna try to destroy the tank. I'm just wasting time. <laughs> Man, but yeah, basically, basically, Anila betrayed us, basically. So, yeah, but, God, I'm just so pissed that I did that. <laughs> oh, well, but anyway, this mission's up here. Aha, the Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great. If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. All right. Basically, we just had to sleep dart her, the Contessa. Which, I mean, I don't know how that works, but you know. <laughs> Morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. However, 
Man, I can't believe this what that need that betrayed us. This it's ridiculous. Oh man, I missed that dart. We're just gonna go over there. Oh wait, I need I need to zoom in. I need to zoom in. Ah! How did I miss one? I'm doing, I'm doing whole ball, I'm doing whole ball. There you go. Basically, she's basically a bad guy in here. Blasted Cooper gun. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. No, he's the, the Murray. Break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. That's crazy. Why well, he's basically trying to steal money from the? How dare she try to steal from us? Well, this girl, she is. Jeez. Conceivable. She's no healthcare professional. Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of. Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot. It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time. I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. The hole. Should still do. What's the next mission? All the way over there, isn't it? Yeah. What's that mission called? Train hack. Let's train hack the train. Let's go all the way over there. What? Oh, what do we have? Oh, we got this one. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Just passed all these guards, right? Here. Oh yeah, let's look how fast we can go now. <laughs> Don't get hit by the train. That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity. Thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. This, this mission. Oh, don't want to get hit by the train. I almost got hit by the train. Man, this this level looks so good, better in HD compared to you know my previous to my previous Sly Cooper let's Sly Two Let's Plays. Oh yeah, basically. Oh, welcome to the hack mini game. Welcome to the hack through these barrier nodes. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash my hacker code. Basically, this is a hack mission and everything. At the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. Thank thank you for that. The train should be picking up speed. Oh shoot, no 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 no. There you go. Goodbye, birdie, birdie, birdie. Now let's go there. Now that's this one. Hopefully it doesn't attack us while we're hacking. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> oh my, I love, I love these hacking minigames. This is really interesting with the dodge. You can dodge and shoot. Oh yeah, that works. Nice, we didn't get hit at all there. Four more to go. Where's the next one over there? Man, man, this is just God. I love, I love how this is one more dark areas in the game. Just, I just remember how dark this was on PlayStation Two. It was like, damn, they fixed it so much better in this game in the PSP version. Especially because now I'm playing in HD, so it even looks better. <laughs> Can you not get hit out on? I'm just gonna shoot straight. 
That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just shooting straight. Oh boy! Oh, I need to get on. There you go. Come on. There you go. <laughs> that works. Shoot in the same direction. Fifty percent. Interesting. Ooh. I do have to watch out for the train now. They begin to stay in this corner right here. <laughs> this works. <laughs> look, look at this. They can hit me. Nah, 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 nah. Now go. Oh boy. Oh boy! There you go. There you go. Nice. Now where's the train at? Don't you do gotta watch out though. <laughs> Go one, 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 one. Yeah, there's one right there. <laughs> what is that tank doing? <laughs> uh, you saw that tank in the back, didn't you? I think these guys shoot at you, don't you? Yeah, they do, they do, they do. Oh, shit, they hit me. Oh! They tried to corner me. Tried to corner me. I know this hacking, the hacking game is harder than Sly, Sly 3 though, I tell you that. It's pretty easy though. Oh boy! They're teaming up on me. I only got, you didn't get half. So we're good. What the hell is that freaking tank doing? Idiot. Oh, I died! Oh! <laughs> Stupid tank, tank killed me. For that, I'm gonna bomb you. No, or not. No, or not. I guess not. You just have this last one over here. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is gonna be a little long mission, but a long episode, but that's fine. Oh. I love the music. The hacking mu music in this game is pretty great. Is that one? Ah, the dogs! Look. I love how we just like a little like tank, little green tank looking thing. Ah, it looks suck. Ah, I can go all around. <laughs> ah, being goofy. And there goes just flying. Oh, train jumper. I love how I just jumped out the train like that. Bum, 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 bum. There's up there. One. Oh, wait. There you go. Come on. All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. Oh yeah. Oh bomb. Yeah, I got an RC chopper. Oh yeah. It's bombing the bridge. Bombing guards on the bridge. <laughs> what are we? Oh yeah. I think in the next episode, Mike. I'm no, I don't know if I might. I don't know. I'm thinking of how I'm gonna get get the clues to lead in this in this area. I think I might do the next episode where I do a bunch of missions, and then one after that I do the clues, and then do that. I think I'm gonna get the clues right before the next operation. So I mean, that's a little bit of ways. Oh God. Come on, come on, guys. There you go. Oh, we got one guy. There you go. Ah, oh, nope. Bomb. There you go. It got me twice. 
There's the motion sensors. Why can you read me? How I've missed that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing on to the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. <laughs> I love that. I love, I love, that was a pretty great line. No, I mean, he got point. He got point. It's like, what kind of friend he is if he can't even bust you out of jail. <laughs> I can hear this. I can hear the, I can hear the, you know. Ooh, should we, should we do a gold? Should we try to get a gold from these, from any of these guys? I mean, all we had to do is just get to the safe house. That's really it. That's what, I mean, that's all we had to do. Um, can we do that? Can we, uh, hold on. Yeah, the safe house, can we get a gold before we, let's see, before we go this back to the safe house? Let's see, yeah, I think we can. Go oh, pocket watch. Okay, now let's actually go, oh yeah, by the train, by the way, the train's gone, so we don't have to worry about the train running us over. <laughs> oh, there we go! We made it back to the safe house, so I, sweet! Crazy how short this episode is. We did a lot in this episode. <laughs> okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting D. him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. <laughs> Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. Bodyguards. You'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. <laughs> oh, really, Sly? I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. I love how the container just has a giant attack robot. <laughs> Why? I mean, it poses on a white towel, but... And you can see now we got Sly now. Which is pretty great. That's awesome. You know what we're going to do next? Go to the thief net and see what we got. 97. Not bad. We almost, we almost got 2,000 coins. Anyway, this is the end of this episode. Yeah, I know times are really strange where we have times around the same times for a lot of, of things. But anyway, I've been Green Covers Gaming. And I'll see you next episode as we do all those missions. And then after all those missions, we do collect all the clues. And then after all the clues, we do the the um, operation, which probably will, last, will take probably two episodes to do all that. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And sorry for half live commentary and half post commentary. But anyway, see you guys next time. Well, Green Covers Gaming is out. Bye bye.